or excited to see what you'll catch. Yeah, locked fishing. Healthy environments make fresh varieties. Time to catch them all! You! Get over there! I got double downed. Ugh. Oh my god. Oh, oh god. Get out of there. Oh god, the water ones are getting to me. Oh god, the water ones. When do you want me to join in? Uh, can I do the restrictions? Oh my god, what the hell? Oh, it's two characters. I can't even do much. <sighs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're doing this. I've taken so damn long to get to this point, but you know what? I'm gonna get this done. <sighs> Also, I gotta fix my camera. My camera, <laughs> why is it always... Are you okay? I would never imagined your brother would have sided with the Abyss. Um, sided with the Abyss. I'm feeling a little bit better. Oh yeah, the, the brother siding with the Abyss. Well, keep your chin up. No. I'm in in both of you. How would you believe in both of us? One of us went to the Abyss. And when the going gets tough, the tough get going. Right? There must be more to this than meets the eye. Yeah, you're right. For now. He said we needed to reach the end of our journey. Paimon bets he still has lots more to tell us. And we won't find out what this journey is or where it will end unless we keep going. Okay. Uh, don't mention it, partner. Travel buddies are supposed to look out for one another. What are you, freaking Woody from Toy Story? You're my favorite deputy. Although... If we want to continue with the journey... I still hmm. need to find that god. <laughs> I'm on a Christian journey to find God. Oh, you mean the god that took your brother away in the first place? The Fatui one? Or the Abyss one? Or the god of... I, I don't know. I don't know. And my camera paused in the most awkward moment again. Right. After all, everything that followed... I need answers from her. I need to teach her a lesson. The ghost? Yeah. What, what her name? I, I forgot. I, I know what she's talking about, but I don't know. I can't remember the name. Well, we've <clears> ruled out two gods so far. The animal and Geo Archons. So, next... Let's go to Inazuma. This is what you've been waiting for all this time, Patrick. Considering the fact that you've been mentioning it in the, the chat for so long. Walk into Inazuma. John Lee said it was a closed nation. We'll have to find some other way in. One simply cannot walk into Inazuma. <gasps> Why don't we ask someone from Inazuma how to gain entrance? Let me try and think of someone or someone we met. Oh, Hyman's thought of someone already. Atsuko in Leo Harbor. She's from Inazuma. How are you? I, I can't remember Atsuko. I don't know if I remember this person. Also, the idea that Inazuma is in a lockdown. The Shobuko thing. Oh, God. A path on how to travel to Inazuma. Oh, God. We're finally doing it, ladies and gentlemen. We are finally doing it. Oh. Hello. Oh, uh, I mean, good fortune. Right? I'm still learning to talk like a local. <laughs> Konnichiwa! How are you? Is there anything I can help you with? 
Alright, you're from Japan land, aren't you? Well, we wanted to ask, how do we get into Inazuma? Oh, so that's why you're here. Oh, it's not well, that other thing I did. <laughs> there is a way. We came to the right person. Can we just skip and hop across the ocean and just sneak in there? But the chance of success is incredibly small. We gotta be a stowaway, don't we? Huh. Incredibly small? Then how did you get out of Inazuma in the first place? Um, yeah. It was in leaving Inazuma that I found out just how dangerous this method truly was. Are you gonna be a stowaway? You're gonna be a stowaway, aren't you? All I had to rely on was a little wooden raft that I'd put together myself. There was a storm raging ahead of me, and my pursuers were close on my tail. So you tried to leave, but someone tried to chase After you. After I'd escaped their clutches, I floated on the open ocean for... I don't know how many days. My rations and fresh water supplies soon ran out, and I remember getting to the point where I was sure I'd reached the end. Then, I blacked out, but to my surprise, my journey didn't end there. Or to put it another way, Did a new beginning someone found from Leeway me. save you? Uh, that's right. I escaped by the skin of my teeth. The fact that I'm even alive to tell the tale must be a sign that the gods were watching over me. The fact that you are alive today is nothing short of a miracle. What a horrible journey! Bye, I'm gonna go. Thank you very much, uh, Daizako. Sorry for, uh, like, taking too damn long. You probably have a bunch of things to do, but I'll leave you be. Thanks for joining anyways. Well, because everything is just too restrictive over there. The atmosphere is so stifling. The Kanjo Commission subjects everyone leaving or entering the nation to a protracted approval process, and I felt like I didn't belong there. Hmm, someone from Japan wanting to not be there. Kanjo Commission? What's that? I don't know. I don't know what that is in Japanese. Along I don't know if I want to know. Missions, they oversee everything in Inazuma. Oh. We usually collectively refer to them as the tribe. You didn't waste my time. I hope you have a nice day. I suppose they're All right. to the eight trades uh, under the Thanks a lot. I appreciate it. Oh. Okay, so the Kanjo Commission is like the 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 commission thing for quests. One of the obligations of the Kanjo Commission is to conduct rigorous identity checks on all individuals leaving or entering in Azuma. All non-nationals are processed centrally on Rito upon arrival. Meanwhile, the Tenryo Commission is responsible for implementing the recently promulgated Vision Hunt Decree. They act like the executive arm of the Raiden Shogun's rule. Loyal, yet unfeeling. Mm. It doesn't feel good to speak ill of my home like this. <laughs> but after spending so long under that oppressive atmosphere, I begin to lose all hope for the future. You're not the only one. I, I actually talked to someone at work about someone from Japan, one of my coworkers, who, when I mentioned something about the idea of Japan being a superpower, he's like, no, I, I don't want my home country. I, I don't want to hate my home country. <laughs> so that idea is almost there. What I need to say is, <laughs> Unless you have an extremely compelling reason to go to Inazuma, you should abandon your plans of trying to get there. I have a compelling reason. I'm trying to look for a significant sibling, but... Oh, God. <sighs> you should know that the sea around Inazuma is engulfed in a perpetual tempest of wind and rain. Mm -hmm. Supposing you survive that, you would still need to get past the samurai guards that enforce the Sakoku Decree. Sakoku. Closed nation policy of Inazuma. And so Sakoku. That's the name. Because it, it is like taking on the historical part of Japan. Like, this happened in real life. There was a Sakoku uh, Decree in Japan where it was closed off for 150 years. Am I going to have to be an Admiral Perry at this point? Am I going to have to sneak in there and tell everybody to open up the country? Open up the country. Stop having it be closed. And even if you did manage to find a way, you'd still have to produce the necessary documentation at the Rito Center for processing Outlanders. Otherwise, you'd be kicked out immediately. So Japan has turned into North Korea. 
in a way. Seems like they really don't want anyone setting foot in Inazuma, huh? But they have Rito. Oh, wait, who is Rito again? I know... I know Patrick is not here to tell me in the, the VC and I had to close down Discord, but I'm sure he'll explain to me as soon as he edits this thing. I'll have to find out. They only set that up as a port to guarantee a supply of goods and information to the island. Most Outlanders would be unable to acquire the documentation. the first place you get to when you arrive at Inazuma. Yeah. So you actually do come in and correct me on this. But if you really are set on going, there is one thing you could try. Are you going to prepare another life raft and hope to God I survive by the skin of my teeth? Uh, the man's idea sounds a little on the danger. That's not what I meant. You could ask someone from the Crux Fleet if they have some way of getting you to Inazuma. Voyaging far and wide has made them a well-traveled group with a wide range of experiences. They may just know how to break through the storm. Mm. You're right! I'm not sure Beto of all people will be able to get us there. Her crew is super strong. Beto. But Baima wonders if she'll be willing to take the risk. Uh, try. The is the flagship of the Crux Fleet. I heard that it's currently anchored by Guyon Stone Forest on a supply run. Then there's no time to lose. Let's go. Go find Beto. But I have Beto right here. Well, I must go find Beto. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Aw, oh, okay. I somehow survived. Beto! Anger man's voice. Who the heck are you? You think you can just come down here? You arrived on board the ship. Beto! Uh, you got the traveler. What are you doing here? I'm with the captain. Does she look like someone she's got to come and looking for her as you please? Oi, someone get over here. Tell the story to feed them to the fishies. Alright, alright. What's the ruckus? This troublemaker's stuck in here. Said they're looking for her. Well, they're up there all good. They're... Oh, wait here. I thought I would just deal with this for Beto. Alright, stop scaring people with old how or Beto will scold you upside down. Huh? I... All right, I'll go cool ahead now. Traveling what business we have the captain. I'd like to go to Inazuma. You want to go to Inazuma by ship? Hmm. You best be see the captain herself. She's on board right now. Seems that she's deep in the recent, deep in thought recently. Keep your eyes open and try not to disturb her. Also anchored here for a while due to orders, which led to quite a few delays. If you're willing, why don't you go around the ship and see who needs help? We have that. Ah, there be Bedo. Oh, if it isn't the Traveler and Paimon. Yes, it is. I knew you guys would come. <laughs> How? Paimon. Hmm. What a fascinating being. You two give off not only the essence of wind and earth, but also of... Yes. The stars. I'm gonna... <laughs> oh god, I, I lost track of my mind. I'm getting a uh, pro. Let, let's play the pronoun game. Who is this person? Uh, the fragrance of what now? That's the weirdest compliment Paimon's ever heard. What the hell's a fragrance of stars? Pay it no heed. I mean only to say I am certain so it's bar, that it is by chance. fate, not chance alone. You're not far off, but they go by a different name in Inazuma. Hmm, the songwriter Utao. Ah, uh, I prefer. Other means of entertainment. Mm. This young man is Kaidahara Kazuha, a temporary addition to my crew for reasons I won't bore you with. Occasionally he opens his mouth and flowers come out instead of words. <laughs> and flowers come out! Wow! Matt! Amazing! With this fine ship and the soft sea breeze, would it not be romantically irresponsible of me not to acknowledge it with a line or two of poetry? Are you trying to do a haiku? <laughs> no, I can't argue with that. Okay, then. Once the clash is underway, I'll give you a chance to perform. Only if the mood takes me, of course. Poetry for poetry's sake tends He's to lack He's the strongest me. animal character, gameplay-wise, somehow even better than Venti. Really? Hey, you don't want to pass this opportunity up too easily. Especially seeing as our great hero here might be in attendance. <laughs> Also, I was just thinking, I wonder if there's any regional difference between, like, the Inazuma uh, Archon quests. Like, do all the characters speak it differently? Like, how the Japanese dress themselves or dress, or dress leeway? I don't know. Oh, wait a minute. What's the clash? Uh, also, just to clarify, my great hero, do you mean 
I don't know. I thought you might be here to sign up. You're telling me you've never even heard of it? No. The Crux Clash is a martial arts tournament that I hold. There'll be a whole bunch of folks taking part to showcase their talents. Mm. There are two important rules. One, competitors must be renowned fighters. We want those with real martial arts ability, not just people taking part for the fun of it. What happens if there are people taking it for the fun of it? So, you've got nothing to worry about there? Panel two, you can't take part if you've got a vision. Otherwise, I don't have a vision, a but... <laughs> you must be feeling confident, but you might want to watch out. There are a few crouching tigers and hidden dragons lurking around in Liyue. Are you telling me there's a bunch of movie actors who are trying to come after me? Really? And with Liyue's savior taking part in the tournament, now that's gonna turn a few heads. But we didn't come here to take part in a martial arts tournament. Considering the fact that we are trying to make our way to Inazuma, I think this is part of the process. Well, before you dismiss the idea completely, you might be interested to hear that the prize this time around is particularly sought after. Movie's actress is a Fontaine thing. Yeah. The prize is the trip to Inazuma. Get this. It's a masterless vision. Masterless vision? Supplied by myself, as a matter of fact. If the tournament champion can reawaken that vision, it belongs to them. Is there really such thing as a masterless vision? Why doesn't it have a master? Or why, why is... why? When a vision bearer dies, the light in their vision will fade away. But the shell that housed that light remains. As for whether this shell has any practical application, well, this remains to be seen. But my intuition tells me that while it remains in the world, it may just be possible for someone else to inherit it. So it's not a whole linear thing. Yep. And the way I see it, a vision is a badge of recognition from the gods. So if anyone's able to rekindle it, it's gotta be an individual of exceptional strength and talent. So we're doing another religious endeavor again. Organizing the clash is my way of uncovering hidden talents. And hopefully this time, getting a vision to glow again. So, if you don't have a vision, this is the perfect opportunity to get your hands on one of your very own. To be honest, I'm not interested. Yeah! We're interested in getting to Inazuma, not fighting in some tournament. Inazuma? You want to go there? Yes, because Patrick's been bugging me about it lately. <laughs> and he wants to see me make fun of Japan land. Well, why didn't you say so? Inazuma, no sweat. In that case, if you win the tournament, I'll give you a choice. Masterless vision, or a ticket to Inazuma aboard the Alcor. You just want her to take part in your tournament! <laughs> What's wrong with that? The more talent we have, the better the tournament will be. I couldn't let a competitor like you fall through the net. What are we gonna do? I'm not worried. Looks like let's we give it a shot. <laughs> Great. Then let's get you signed up. Head to the tournament arena in Guyun Stone Forest. Kazuha and I will be over soon. It seems like it will only be a matter of time before the answer is revealed. Right, I said the- And my camera froze, damn it! A few moments later. Hey, youngster. Are you here for the Crux Clash too? Yes. If so, seems I found myself- Gotta love all those bystanders doing nothing! So, you're also here for the tournament? You better believe it. I wouldn't be here if I didn't think I could walk away as a champion. Oh my god, this this character's voice sounds very much like Ash. It's like, Peach, Pikachu, go! For me, obtaining a vision is the final and most important piece in the puzzle that is my life. No, no, no. It's not about what I want to do. This is about who I want to be. I am looking to become a perfect person. Um, no such thing, because nothing is perfect. And to be a perfect person would be to change nothing. I know how that sounds, but let me explain. I've lived a successful life so far without any setbacks. I've passed every exam I've ever taken, enjoyed numerous successful business ventures, and seen in most people's eyes, I am already the very embodiment of the perfect person. Though, of course, I'd never let the praise get to my head. I know I haven't reached perfection yet, a vision. You have so much self-confidence. You have tournament experience? That's not important. I have a contact in the Crux fleet who was happy to vouch for me. So, they very kindly made special arrangements on my behalf. I've also brought along a bit of an entourage. 
for moral support. Of course, I also put in a few good days practice, concentrating mostly on rare and esoteric. Yeah. <laughs> I seem to have gained another fan. Don't let my aura overwhelm you, though. You'll need your wits about you today. Now then, okay. if you don't mind, I need to finish my pre-competition routine. It's okay. not too long now before you'll get to see me in action. Dear God, this person is cocky. He's got Ash vibes to him. A few moments later. So to recap, we're up against an inflated ego, some gullible guys do way too much for their kung fu classes, and then- What do you mean by us, Paimon? Really average. Hmm. Just average. Seems like you've got a pretty good chance of winning this thing. I Come on, yeah. Come on. I was about to say that. Chase the village arm wrestling champion, fight at all. huh? <sighs> Alright, you're signed up. Next, please. What's your name? Connor Nut Zarax. Wait, uh, aren't you? Oh, did I hear that right? Is it really them? Uh, them? Huh? Aren't they a vision bearer, though? Uh, I, I have to ask. Aren't you the traveler that helped Liyue fight off that ancient god? Yes. It's really her! The one that spoke with Lady Kuching at the right of party. Oh, oh, I wonder if I can get her autograph later. Looks like I'm the only one who's actually gonna get a bunch of fans. I trust you are aware that uh, only those without visions can enter the tournament. I don't have a vision. Oh, really? But, but from what I've heard, the things you're capable of in combat are nothing short of extraordinary. You walk into the most dangerous situations imaginable, face off against all sorts of monsters, uh, even the Fatui, and always come out on top. Yes. Yep, she still doesn't have a vision, though. See for yourself! Uh, my apologies. I didn't mean to be rude. I'm sure great, but it's just a formality for you, of course, but I have to make a record of competitors' achievements as part of the sign-up process. So far, I've got defeated the ancient god Osiris. I so saved one. Devalin and the other of the base saved Devalin. Yeah, put that down! And also, defeated the Fatui Harbinger child! Whoa! Might as well declare her the champion already. I wonder if it's too late to withdraw. Okay, um, that's plenty. Everybody Actually, else is like, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> right, your registration is a great hero such as yourself can surely only be here for one thing. To win the tournament and claim the grand prize, namely, a vision. Nah. Oh, we're not here for that. We're here because Captain Beto promised to take us to Inazuma if we win the tournament. There's another prize, too? Oh, first I've heard of it. Beto must have upped the stakes this time to attract top talent. But why would anyone want to go somewhere as dangerous as Inazuma? Because someone has business there. Personal business. I see. So, I take it you discussed your terms with Beto in advance, then? Everyone's misunderstanding the situation. Well, nobody expected you to sign up to a term. Anyway, the qualifying rounds are about to begin. Hey, so... Even though you don't have a vision, most people in Tibet think that you can't manipulate the elements without one. So Paimon thinks you probably shouldn't use your elemental abilities during the turn. In any case, looking at the competition, it should still be right. sense. It should. You seem like you're raring things. to go. Are you ready to yes. finish? Then please follow me into the earth. So no. Our next competitor is seen by many as the favorite to win this no tournament. Element. Her first bout begins now! Ooh, I hit super hard. You? Almost perfect. You're the hero they're talking about? Are you seriously gonna How go on your or what? I don't know. You're level 75. Why was it so confident? That was easy. He got smacked so easily. Now that we won, let's go and see Beto. She'll probably have something to say to us. Just like that. The guy who thought he could win. <laughs> Pilot, right. I knew I wouldn't regret introducing you as the favorite. Guess he'll never become perfect now. Oh. So, what do you think, Kazuha? She totally dominated that guy and did it with style, too. Impressive. But I also observed our favorite exercise some restraint, as- Well, I fought my fair share of battles, both big and small. And I say, so come on. We all know you've got a wide vocabulary in there. All right. Let me think how to aptly- 
You fought well. Yes. <laughs> you fought well. You're so special. Uh, all right, then. I was thinking your inner poet might want to, you know, a lot of competitors came to me saying how surprised they were that Liu as hero was entering the tournament. And since you signed up, we've had many others do the same, with more than a few top-tier fighters among them. I'm sure lots of them are here to find out how they stack up against you. Didn't know it was so popular. <laughs> well, since everyone sees you as the one to beat, I figure I should start treating you that way too. For one thing, we don't want you wasting all your energy in the early rounds fighting people who are well below your level. Not to mention, you must be itching to fight someone in your league too. So, I'm putting you straight through to the semifinals. Oh god. This is how Captain Beto works. Besides, we're skipping the rest because we don't waste time with the, the lower level anyway. stuff. Huh. To be fair, Paimon was thinking that too. All right, I'm gonna watch some more of the tournament. If there's any potential contenders for you out there, I want to know who they are and what they're about. After a long wait, your opponent in the semifinal is finally decided. We're finally here, folks. The real show is about to begin. Mm hmm. <laughs> The captain seems to have high hopes for this tournament. I hope your opponent has fought many rounds to get to the semifinals. This makes him a seasoned warrior. You may well be stronger than him, but this should not give you cause to lower your guard. I won't. Very well. Show me that you are ready to push through the storm that lies ahead. All right, that's enough chit chat for now. Okay, enough chit chat. Your opponent in the semifinals is new to the Crux Clash, but he has quickly become the dark horse of the tournament. I do not doubt your abilities, but I would suggest that you make sure you are Relax! My girl's at the top of right. Follow me. At last, the moment we've all been waiting for. The semifinals have begun! Who's it gonna be this time? The hero or the dark horse? I don't care about the crowd. You're a strong opponent. That's what I'm here for. Smack. Ah. <sighs> Sweating all over. It's a good feeling. Congratulations. I was beaten by the best. I need to train harder. Mm, you fought well. Right! For a moment there, Paimon was a little worried. What? That I'd lose? If you had a vision, you'd definitely be one of the strongest around. Also, he was level, uh, level 90. I wanted a division once, when I was a kid. People said that if you're strong enough, you'll have your chance to get one. <sighs> but mine never came. I lost interest eventually. Can't depend on a vision like you can your own body. I've fought and won against vision bearers before. The power they have was given to them by the gods. I don't envy it. Huh? You mean you didn't sign up to try and get your hands on that masterless vision? No, I didn't. I only wanted to pit myself against other fighters and see who was the strong. Only in defeat can you understand your weaknesses and learn from them. So I'm pleased with today's outcome. I don't often have the pleasure of experiencing defeat. Okay. Wow! Now that's true strength talking! At least he learned his lesson. If you have the chance in the future, please come and spar with me again. I will be stronger next time. So will I. Uh, by the way, do you know who else made it into the finals? Is it gonna be someone even tougher than you? Probably. And my can froze, damn it! Whether they'll be as tough as me, I don't know. But what I have heard is that they're extremely quick. Mm. So don't get to. I don't know if you can use items in the tournament. All right, ask me to because of how about your final opponent. Maybe we can go to a lot of people. Maybe some people are still here. You gave an outstanding performance. I could sense that you are not familiar with bouts of this kind, but you were quick to adapt. And managed to claim victory over your Yo, opponent. I... In fact, I discerned this not from what I saw, but what I heard. The ground beneath your feet, and the pattern of your breathing. But it is nothing remarkable, for I discerned nothing more than Captain Beto did. 
Okay. <laughs> He's right. But in my case, I was purely relying on previous experience. I guess not using your elemental powers must be quite new for you, huh? Yes. We wanted to ask about who our opponent will be in the final round. Do you think... Not exactly. Contenders that reach the finals aren't necessarily stronger. They tend to have something unique about their style. As for the guy you'll be facing, his skill lies in his speed, and he has superior form. It's what's the matter. Worried that you've bitten off more than you can chew this time? Mmm, it's vital that we make it to Inazuma. Mm. If that is the case, then I have a proposal for you. I haven't properly introduced myself yet. In the land of Inazuma, I was a wandering samurai. I'm gonna face off against him, am I? Uh, yeah! We could tell that from your getup. But at the same time, when you talk, you don't really sound like someone who's used to waving a sword around. I'm gonna be fighting up against Kazuha. It is true that I am versed both in literary and martial traditions. But on the straggling path of a wandering samurai, is there harm in acquiring a surplus skill? I do not mean to flaunt my martial prowess. But I myself have witnessed reputable fighters hailing from across the land. Given your talents, a few hints from me will be all that's necessary to bring your opponent down. Hang on. Don't you think you're bending the rules a bit there? I, I'm starting to think he's the final opponent. Gathering intelligence is an essential part of any duel. You must know your enemy. Besides, our favorite here has fought many battles on their journey from Mondstadt. Such impressive feats require more than just bravery alone. You betcha, hun. Wait a second. We never told you that we've been to Mondstadt. <laughs> Does one not do the trail when traveling through the wild? In return, nature also leaves its traces upon you. What? However, there is only so much that can be discerned from these traces. I sense come with me. Yeah. Some post-match entertainment is in order. So you're gonna tell me who the final opponent is? Now that we're alone, let me cut to the heart of them. You are skilled in manipulating the elements. And not just a single element, mm -hmm. but multiple. So you already know. Paimon knew that you were hinting at something from the moment we met. You've known all along. Yeah, but he's also an Animo character, considering the fact that he's got the Animo sigil right on his back. That's right. If the other contenders were to catch wind of your elemental abilities, let's just say it would cause some unwanted misunderstanding. If I'm not mistaken, you share these considerations, given your will. <laughs> when I talk about that which I see or hear in you, this is not poetic symbolism at play. I mean these things in the truest sense possible. Uh -huh, you're Since trying to be age, sincere. I've been attuned to the tidings of nature. I hear the breath of the wind and the whispers of the leaves. It is things of this nature that I also hear from within you. As crazy as all that sounds, somehow Paimon still believes you. My humble yeah. abilities are negligible compared to your incredible feats. To think a human could wield the elements without a vision, and not to mention your incredibly complex scent, like that of some mysterious being. Okay. Hey, stop evaluating us based on our could you perchance enlighten me as to how you managed to obtain your combined elemental abilities? I'm afraid, I don't know. All I did was touch the statue of the seven. Hmm. Extraordinary. So then, might I be so bold as to inquire how exactly it is that you learned to channel elemental uh, energy? Pardon, even knowledge. Aw, it uh, it's nothing really. It's been a long journey, and many things have happened along the way. Somehow, she just naturally learned to use the elements to it all. Honestly, even Paimon doesn't understand how it all works. Who does? Perhaps such unfathomable things are the essence of the gods and the visions they grant. However, I still wish to have the honor of seeing how you wield the elements. Perhaps it may yet reveal something to Of course, I too shall share with you all that I've learned. That will make it a fair exchange. Okay. Now then, let's test your skills. Shall we? Defeat the monsters of Shokazu, your elemental abilities. Oh, reveal by yourself. 
we go. I thought I was fighting him for a second. Hmm. Your skills in battle are truly beyond me. Your opponent is skilled at controlling his breathing and maintaining balance, which enables him to execute moves that many would find impossible. He relies entirely on the element of surprise to defeat his opponents. In other words, as long as you remain mindful of his ability to detect weak points, then his attack should pose no threat to you. Uh, remain my full ability to detect weak points. Please, save your thanks. If anything, I should be thanking you for the opportunity to witness the world as a true. I really feel like you're describing yourselves. Because who else could have this ability? That which is still unknown. You seem kind of obsessed with visions. But don't you already have your own? Why Damn it, camera froze. So don't know why. The Actually, do. Okay, keep. And the yeah. I desire to know what meaning visions have to the gods, and what influences the gods' decision to grant humans these visions. My apologies. You must be completely in the dark regarding such matters. You're probably in the dark as well. Who are you any different? For allowing me the honor of witnessing your mystical ways, I am willing to answer any questions you may have. I am indeed in the dark, so please enlighten me. So that's what you're curious about? <laughs> as you well know, a vision hunt decree is currently underway in Inazuma. Vision hunt? Visions are a gift bestowed by the divine. People that have accepted this gift are now having their visions confiscated inexplicably. Sometimes in circumstances that leave their original recipients dead. In the outset, supposing each of the seven archons had their criteria for granting visions to living beings, then does the current Electro Archon now doubt these criteria, or even act in and of itself? Not to mention, with no new Electro Visions having been granted for such a long time, it would seem that we can infer something of the Raiden Shogun's feelings on the matter. So, the Raiden Shogun? Maybe they just uh, don't want anybody to have Electro and they feel like their art is so... that it should be... rare that nobody else should have it? Less like an Archon and more like a tyrant. Right. As far as I know, she is an Archon that pursues eternity. She will relentlessly carry out her will with no regard to what others may think or feel. So in other words, she's gone full Renegade and my camera froze. So in other words, she's like the Renegade morality system from, from Mass Effect. She'll do whatever she wants, and she doesn't care if anyone gets pissed. Liyue's contracts are meant to benefit all who reside within Liyue. But what does Inazuma's pursuit of eternity bring to its people? Hmm. Exclusion? Death? It goes without saying that the people locked within Inazuma do not fare well these days. Sounds a lot like something the god you encountered in the beginning would do. Really? Oh. Have you encountered the Electro Archon before? It was already a long time ago. I don't know if I have seen the Electron Archon God. I don't know, maybe Patrick knows. Uh, I'm not sure. With time, we will change. 
but the Shogun will remain the same. If you wish to find her, she will forever be there. There will come a day when I too shall wish to understand the answers to eternity from her. Ah, the time for your match is approaching. Oh, right! We got so distracted talking about Inazuma... If you have no other matters to attend to, then we can return very well. Let's go. And so we went. All the way back there. Okay! The final tournament. Why isn't he here yet? Who's he? Never mind. We can start by making your entrance first. Everyone, listen up! Your attention, please! We've reached the climax of the Crux Clash! We've seen many exciting battles today, and now, at long last, the two finalists have emerged. Now, I'd like to introduce God, God, our first combat. The freedom of you have seen her. her reputation knows no bounds. She strikes fear into the heart of Osile, and the mere mention of her name causes even Fatui Harbingers to turn pale in the face. Introducing Liu's traveling hero. Wow! <sighs> I've been waiting. I'm sure everyone witnessed her Azuha. thrilling match in the semifinals. But today's final round will surely take things up a notch. As for our other combatant, oh, come on, what could be taking him so long? You can't just apologies. Everyone, just sit tight. Maybe they got the match time mixed up. They've got no other choice. If he doesn't show up, we'll just have to postpone the match. Wait a moment. Something doesn't seem right about this. Captain Beto, perhaps we should check on the prize. Traveler, come with us. You think he stole the prize? Let me see. That's gone, all right. The vision is missing. Yeah, whoever was a final fire took the vision. Huh? Did somebody steal it? Who would dare do such a thing in front of uh, who's been keeping an eye on it the whole entire time? We don't know when it was taken exactly. <laughs> I never thought that someone here would have the guts to cross Captain Beto. No need to worry. Even the craftiest sleight of hand does not escape nature's watchful gaze. Hmm. The culprit has only acted recently. The vision was the prize that I had offered, and it was my responsibility to look after it. I will be certain to get it back. Okay. Well, if you insist, I'll stay here and try to offer some explanation to all the spectators that came to If you would, please come with me. Seems there's nothing else we can do. My opponent was no show anyways. Um, but we're on an island. Come with me. I can sense the winds are coming. Unless there's a boat. Hmm. All right, of course, yeah, uh, current? We're going to proceed to small islands ahead. Ride the winds up. From there, we can continue our search for clues. Hmm. Read one and. The winds are guiding this Hello? The culprit is on the opposite shore. Three, two, one, score stamina. Hang it. Hubris. This way. Follow me. There may be an ambush waiting for us up ahead, but I trust that you are well prepared for such a scenario. Damn it. Ah, oh, dang it. Ah, oh, crap. Not even allowing me to... Her. Damn it! A few minutes later. Hmm. Oh, they're here! Get them! Treasure holders, just as I expected. In which case, please stand back. Come 
down a little closer. There we go. Talk to the church order. Still the vision. There it is. There they be. You cut up with me? How is that possible? Because the fact that I've dealt with this before. I had even prepared a boat to ensure a quick getaway, and still you caught up to me. No boat could ever match the speed of the wind. The wind? What are you talking about? Drat! If I only had a vision. Or if I could activate this one. This has nothing to do with visions. You may be skilled at vanishing from a crowd. Additionally, your chosen escape route was flawed for reasons that are too numerous to go into. And on top of that, I could hear your boasting and proud laughter in the wind as I was pursuing you. In other words, you failed to meet any of the basic criteria for a grand heist. Hmm. Namely, speed, stealth, and style. So even if he was to steal it, he couldn't cover his tracks well enough from nature. You... You... But most disappointing of all is the state of the vision in your hand. It appears that the vision doesn't respond to human desire indiscriminately. Fine! Fine! I admit it. I've had my eyes on this vision for quite some time now. I decided to register after hearing that this fighting contest was full of a bunch of lousy fighters. I fought my way to the finals and... Aha! So you were supposed to be our opponent! I'd intended to win the contest your skill alone all along. But then you showed up. After watching the semi-finals, I knew that I didn't stand a chance. But I wasn't about to give up on the vision so easily after coming all this way. Since there was no use in trying to face you in the match, I decided to put my skills to good use while everyone's attention was on you and Beto. I was convinced I prepared thoroughly for my escape. Yeah, nowhere else to run and now give up. And over the vision. After all I went through to get it, I think not. The consequences. <laughs> I know an empty threat when I hear one. Fine. But you'd better mean it. It didn't activate once I took it anyway. It's nothing. You know, according to the laws of the sea, the penalty for stealing is breaking the culprit's arms. <laughs> You're not serious, are you? Not to mention that the item you stole was a prize. You didn't show up for the final match, and you damaged the reputation of the captain of the Crux. It seems that it would be only fair to brand the word thief on your forehead with a hot iron. Whoa, whoa! We don't need to go that far, do we? <laughs> I never would have guessed you could be so cruel. If this is where talking gets me, then forget it. I'll risk a fight. But please, don't brand my forehead. He has persevered to the bitter end, and now death looms near. And still the gods do not bestow their favor upon him. Put down the vision and leave. I've changed my mind. No further punishment for you. Huh? What's wrong? Are you asking for more punishment? It's up to you. Such willingness is commendable. No, no, no need for that. Thank you for releasing me. Well, he got off easy. Treasure hoarder leaves in a frenzy. Kyra uh, doesn't get it. Were you just trying to scare her? I take no pleasure in frightening others. I was just testing all possibilities while the vision remained in his hands. When people are forced into a corner, that is when their greatest strength will appear. I thought it may be an opportunity for him to awaken the vision. So you were wondering if he could have been the true bearer of the vision, but no. But unfortunately, nothing happened. Yes. Uh -huh. I wanted to know whether it were possible for an extinguished vision to be reawakened. From the moment he stole the vision, I decided to use him for this experiment. I've tried many other methods in the past. You wanted to know if he was the true bearer. Though few tales tell of a masterless vision reawakening. After seeing you command multiple elements, I figured that nothing is impossible. Come, why don't you give it a try? Let's see if you... You want me to get the vision? The vision didn't seem to respond at all. I see. 
So you are also unable to rekindle the vision. No matter. This was expected. Why are you so attached to the vision? I suppose... Yeah, what's the story behind this vision anyway? The story begins with an old friend. He was once a good friend of mine. One day he asked me about a sword art of which he had heard, the Musono Hitotachi. I told him it can only be witnessed when divine punishment is administered. It is the pinnacle of the Raiden Shogun's skill, a symbol of ultimate power. But he replied, there must be one who can withstand it. There will always be those who dare to brave the lightning's glow. Then, the vision hunt decree arrived. People's aspirations were stripped away as the Raiden Shogun began to construct her ideal of eternity. While I was fleeing from place to place, I heard that my friend had challenged the vision hunters to a duel before the throne. A solemn yet brutal challenge. The defeated faced divine punishment, while the victors gain a second chance. Perhaps he thought he of all people should make a stand. Coming face to face with the Musono Hitotachi was all that he truly desired, after all. When I arrived at Tenchikaku, the door was over. I heard his sentence of divine punishment, his severed blade hitting the ground. Perhaps that was the glory he had yearned to witness. In his last moments, what expression was on his face? Before I knew it, I had stepped forward and snatched the dying vision and was running from the scene. All I knew was that I mustn't let his hope, which burned so brightly, become buried among the ice-cold statue of a god. Because someone wanted to see that vision I may come to find that all I have done is meaningless. But as a wandering samurai, I find meaning in traveling and the sprawling beauty of nature that lies along the way while still retaining the warrior way in my heart. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's just another way of saying I do as I please. Yeah, pretty much. All right, then. It's time we returned. Okay. Allow me to gather the wind for us once more. And then we quickly return, and that'll be it. Return to Kiran, and then that'll be it. Huh? Did Beta leave already? Maybe she went back to her ship? If you're looking for the captain, she was summoned by Lady Ningguang. Oh, great. She went all the way back to Leeway. It seems that the Crux Clash got out of hand this time and has attracted her attention. Captain Beta was muttering something about Ningguang being a stick in the mud as she headed off to Liyue Harbor. Hmm. <laughs> it's not unusual for those two to be at odds with me. But still, Captain Beta was disappointed she didn't get to witness the crowning of the new champion. She had been looking forward to it for quite some time. The one who stole the vision was originally to be this hero's opponent in the final round. He knew he stood no chance of winning the match, thus the wicked idea of stealing the prize took hold in his mind. In which case, the Crux Clash comes to a clear-cut conclusion. Huh? So that's what happened? If that's the case, then the rules stipulate that he is disqualified. And our hero here is the champion. I even thought we'd win it all, but not like this. Same. It doesn't matter. As the saying goes, honor given is honor deserved. Now, let me go prepare the champion's medal to award you. So we'll be able to go to Inazuma now? Yes, I believe so. Though Captain Beto is no longer present here, I'll be sure she receives word of it. She is a woman of her word. So we finally get to go to Japan land. But the voyage to Inazuma is a treacherous one. You will be plagued by a perpetual tempest the entire trip. So, we're gonna deal with the thunderstorm all the way through. In fact, the relentless rain and wind are also an embodiment of the Raiden Shogun's will to close the nation. Hmm. Hold on a second. You're saying she can change the weather just with the power of her mind? Yes! Let us not forget that this is one of the Seven Archons. If Liyue's Morax could form Guyun's Stone Forest by casting down his stone spears, then it should come as no great surprise that the Raiden Shogun is capable of summoning an eternal tempest. Suffice it to say that if you wish to journey to Inazuma, the Alcor will need some time. You will be notified once all the preparations have been made. Oh, God. In the meantime, 
I intend to embark on a journey of my own. I will travel all across the vast lands of Liyue in the hope of finding a way to reawaken the vision. My memories, you'll find a way for sure. Thank you. May both our journeys prove meaningful. One final word of warning. The part of your journey that lies after the storm may well prove to be the most arduous. It's always going to be harder past this point. What do you expect? Auto win, Scarlet Leaves, quest complete. Ah, finally. Uh, information on going to Inazuma. We are finally going to set sail. Actually, I'm going to take a break and I'm going to relax here and I'm going to come back to it next week.